Hey everyone, welcome to Novice. Uh, we got a little project today, and I'm gonna let Connor explain what we're doing. So today we're gonna put that battery in here, and we're gonna put those little batteries in here, so they can go fast, and faster, and faster. So basically we're gonna make these run off of these Ryobi drill batteries, and we got these adapters here, and they came from I'll put the card here, terrafirmtechnology.com. What these are are 3D printed adapters that fit your drill battery in there. And then you're just going to mount these to the unit. And then these wires they give you, plug right in here. And you wire this up to the toy. So what we have here is this razor. And we've actually modified this before with a motorcycle battery. And it lasts for quite a while, but they're deep cycle batteries. And they're not meant to be drained down all the way and recharged and drained and recharged. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take these wires here. We're going to cut them and we are going to wire that up to that drill battery adapter that we got. And get that thing mounted in here and see how it works. And then we'll do the same thing in this one, which has not worked for a long time. But this opens up in the back and the battery used to sit down there. So the kids will be excited to get that one working again. Right, kids? So I let's... I'm so happy to drive it really fast and I go all around the huge, huge, no, no, All right. Well, let's get to work. All right, so I'm going to cut these low enough that if this doesn't work, I can pretty easily rewire it and get this and we'll mount this one up as soon as we make sure it works here let's test it out who wants to try this one out for me Kylie, you gonna try it? Yeah. What's going on, everybody? Uh, just a quick safety update. Um, we're coming to you from the future after these kids have driven these cars through what, like six batteries in, in a row or something, over and over and over again. Yeah. And what happened? Did your batteries melt? Uh, let me show you what happened and we can make sure this doesn't happen to you guys or your kids. Alright, so if you look here, we got our batteries way too hot. And if you look inside here, these were actually melted together. It should look like that, but it has all that melted plastic in there from the battery. And these were actually stuck together. We had to pry them apart. And then after doing that, we realized the other batteries were getting too hot and melting as well. But these kids were driving these trucks and just going through battery after battery after battery. And uh, it just got way too hot. So what we're going to do, a lot of people are putting fuses in these things. And they just do a 30 amp inline fuse. But we have something a little bit different. Because I anticipate it blowing that fuse quite often. So what we have are these inline breakers instead of fuses. These are actually made for like car audio applications. And we, this is a 30 amp breaker. And all it does is trips the breaker and then you can reset it. And you just put the wire on each side. It has an Allen screw for you to tighten down the wires. All you do is take these end caps off and you can access the screw. And uh, even has little o-rings for whatever amount of waterproofing that provides and we're gonna go ahead and mount these in there and see if that makes a difference and stops the kids from catching their trucks on fire
All right, we're gonna go ahead and wire up this truck too, even though we have to wait for a new adapter because we melted the first one. All right, so we just didn't want you to make the mistake we did and forget to put in a fuse or a breaker. So make sure you do that and we'll send you guys back to the original video. Whoa, spinning tire. Go girl. Go forward. <laughs> All right, Kylie. I got right back though, right? You ready to do yours? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness. Fast. Is it oh my goodness a good word, Doctor? What, Daddy? Yeah, you can say oh my goodness. Be sure to check out terrafirmatechnology.com or I will link in the description these on Amazon because that's where I picked them up at. They were 25 bucks and so far an hour in it's totally worth it. Alright so don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye. Bye. Bye.